Wax on, hot. Wax off, hot. Concentrate. <laughs> Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army and Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to look at today is doing a guide a little bit, if you like, or putting some beginner tips together for new players who, you know, new players who come to the game to save the world and basically give them like a starting point. Just give them some tips. Now I've got a brand new player guide that's out. I will link that in the annotation. So if you look in the top right hand corner, there's a little white circle that's got a letter I in the middle. If you click on that, that'll give you the actual guide if you're an absolute beginner and you want to get started. So if you've read that guide and you're still finding things a little bit trickier, you just want some new tips, then this is the guide for you. So let's get started and just see how we can help you improve as a new player. Okay then, so first up we've got then is learn to do pyramids. You know, you can use pyramids for atlases or you can use them for several other types of base defenses, but pyramids for atlases tend to do pretty well. Now, there are more exquisite base designs, the more complex base designs that you can use. Uh, we tested out a great one by Sly Gumby a while back, but basically what the pyramids do, uh, it just stops smashes from smashing your actual base up. So if smashes are coming through and actually getting through to the atlas all the time and ruining your plans, you'll find the atlas will mean that they can't do that. It actually becomes not a smasher proof, a smasher can still get through, but it gives you a lot more time to actually fight your way out, of, you know, away from the smasher because it stops them charging the walls. Now, you can use a pyramid build, you know, instead by using the, you can either use the roof if you like, or you can use the stairs build, it depends up to you, both are pretty much the same, it doesn't really make a difference, but it just makes the atlases more compact, and then what you can actually do is put regular walls right next to them if that's what you want to do. Or you can also, if you want, just do like, like I'm doing in this video, you can actually build little trap tunnels or little trap areas around them. And don't forget, you can put traps on the actual side of the pyramids now, which makes it things a lot, lot easier. Okay, so another thing that I've got then, the next tip, if you like, is to look up. So in Retrieve the Data Missions, you can actually look up to the sky, if you look, I'm building up here, and we can actually spot the balloon on the way up there and what this will do this will actually help you find the balloons you know pretty quickly so you can find the landing site super fast you can also look into this guy to find purple beams of light as well like i'm doing here to find the actual encampments and then what you can do is go to the encampment before it's actually come up on the map anywhere so even if you can't see it on the map what this will mean is you can actually start making your way towards the encampment if you're trying to do a speed run the good thing about speedrunning encampments is you can actually start farming afterwards. So once you've done all the encampments and hopefully the super encampments, then what you'll be able to do then is actually start uh, farming at the end of the mission. So you can actually get more materials. So if you're actually short on materials, you could do a few encampment missions, actually get your stats up a little bit, and then start farming and gathering more materials for that. So what you can also do as well, when the timer gets down to about, I think it's eight minutes, you can actually shoot the balloon down. It actually comes up, a health bar will appear when it gets to about eight minutes and you can actually shoot that balloon down out of the sky. So you don't need to keep on going for the full term if you like. Once the timer gets to eight minutes, if you don't want to do all the little bits in between, then what you can actually do is shoot the balloon down. Please make sure that your group's aware of it. You know, ask in chat and make sure you, that everybody in the group actually says, yeah, that's fine. But you can actually shoot the balloon down and you can actually start with that a little bit early, which is just useful. Like I said, if you're waiting around or you're short on time, especially if you're playing with three other friends and you all decide that you want to take the balloon down, it's a super quick way to do it. Now, the next tip that I've got is do more. Do you know, in the actual game, what I found, I spoke to someone the other week, and what they were actually doing, they were doing the absolute minimum what they could in order to get by the mission. Now, when I questioned that as to why you're only doing the absolute minimum, we were doing an encampment mission, and all they did on the encampments is they just did the, the, the five main encampments, and then they just literally stopped and went AFK. Now, that's fine. I wouldn't report that person. They've helped us with the bulk of the mission. They've done the part. But his explanation was that he didn't want to use up bullets. He didn't want to use up his ammo and his materials. So he was just doing these uh, encampment missions just so he could get, you know, just so that he could get some extra points, if you like, open some chests, some loot chests at the end, some reward chests, and then he could move on. The problem with that is, you know, he's not going to get as much. He's not maximizing, actually, the amount that he could get. Because if you do more, you'll actually get more back. Every time you build something, so even if you craft a weapon in game, bullets, uh, you know, even if you take down at one husk, if you break one tree down, you're actually getting points towards your reward chest at the end. So the by the guy going AFK was actually losing out on the loot at the end because the loot at the end would have been much, much better had he carried on doing all the little bits around. What Epic Games does a great job of in Fortnite Save the World is actually rewarding the new player, or even any player if you like, even the Twine players get this, but rewarding the players for actually taking part and it gives you the, be it gives you the best possible gains if you do more inside the actual mission. 
Okay, so the next point then is just to have a goal in mind as well. So just doing missions and the store is absolutely fine. You know, that's no problem at all. But you might want a secondary goal as well. So, for example, like right now I'm looking to get Reaper and Pure Drops of Rain so I can level stuff up. That's pretty much my goal all the time because a lot of the time I'm looking to get either Hero XP, Weapon XP, Pure Drops of Rain and Reaper. They're like the four things that I tend to go for all the time. But most of the time I'll have one in mind. Like right now, like this second, I'm looking for Weapon Reaper because we're doing the Founders Edition, uh, well, the, the Unlimited. Limited, the Founders Unlimited Edition or Ultimate Edition, whatever you want to call it. And we're actually trying to, I'm actually trying to level weapons up so that I can show them to you guys. So I need a hell of a lot of that. So that's like my primary goal. But you'll find the guns, the game is a lot more fun if you actually play the game with a goal in mind. So if you think, right, I'm going on today and I'm going to get as much repurk as possible. Or it might be Malachi, it could be something else. But what you actually want to do is actually just push your way through and think, right, I need to get as much of this as possible. Okay, and the final one then is to do the daily quest. Dailies are a great way to save up the actual V-Bucks without playing actual missions. Now, everyone's, you know, all the big YouTubers in Save the World have done, you know, are getting more V-Bucks guide. There's no point me doing another. And all our guides, to be fair, they're pretty much saying the same thing. So one of the main factors is do the daily quests, do the challenges as well. Do you know, there's challenges in there that you can do that are extremely useful. So make sure that you're doing all the challenges and picking all those up. And if any side quests come up that are giving away V-Bucks, just get them done too. So each time that you log in, you know what you want to be doing is actually setting up your V-Bucks missions, work through them, then go towards the story mode. But target as well, you know, the things that you need. So if you need hero XP, you know, so try say if you need ride the lightning missions, for example. What you want to do is find a, a ride the lightning mission that gives Reaper, or find a ride the lightning mission that gives hero XP, or whatever it is that you're looking for. And again, you'll maximize not only just the fun that you're having, but you'll also maximize how efficient you're getting when you're getting the new things. So guys, that's pretty much everything that we've got. It's only a short one, this one. I just, as I said, I wanted to just put something together. And I'm going to break this into little sections. So what I want to do is actually have maybe six videos, seven videos, all about these little things. But when it comes to missions, they're the things you need to, like, focus on. So, so just to summarize then, you want to learn to build pyramids around atlases. So get quick at building pyramids up quite fast. Look up on most missions, so if you're on a Retrieve the Data mission, even a Lars's Van mission, or anything like that, you know, look up into the sky, check where the weather balloon is on Retrieve the Data, because the sky will actually tell you quite a lot. Also as well, do more to get more, so the more that you actually do in mission, you know, the more fun you'll actually have as well, and the more you'll get out of your reward chest at the end. And then the last one as well, well the last two if you like, have goals and also do the daily quest. Now what I've got this, you know, a lot of this is there's a, a FortniteTips.com uh, post that's got a lot of these things in there, so I'm going to link that in the description down below. It's an excellent little guide that I found. Uh, I can't find the author of it actually because right at the bottom of the post is nothing to say who the actual author was. So unfortunately I can't credit that person. However, what you will find on there is that it's a great resource. And we're going to be covering each section of that guide here on the channel. So guys, let me know your tips down below. Do you know what? Have, have you got any tips that you want to give on missions for new players? The good thing about this, it's going to work. The guide's going to work a lot, lot better the more that we, you know, come together as a community on this. So if we have really good tips in the comments down below as well, people can watch the video and then work their way through the comments down below, which I think would be an absolute, you know, an absolute fantastic thing to have and a great resource for anyone who's new to Save the World looking for new player beginner tips. So massive, massive thanks for watching, guys. We've got the Ultimate Edition still to review. We've got a ton of stuff in there, so we're trying to get things out on that every single day that we can. So make sure that you stay posted, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.